Hey everyone, it is OGG Ant coming at you today from Older Guy Gaming. And once again, we are on my favorite gaming site on the internet, that being fanatical.com. And we are going to look at some deals today. Specifically, there is a new bundle that has dropped and it is not a cheap one. It is actually one of the more expensive bundles. So is it worth it? I don't know. Let's go and take a look. All right, so we're going to go to the bundles section here. Oh, there it is right there. The Platinum Collection is what we're looking at today. Now, this is, again, a more expensive bundle. We're looking at at least $4 and something per game. Three for $12.55, five for $18.79, and seven for $24.99. So $25, that is an expensive bundle. So these games are, I would expect, would be a notch or four above the traditional bundle offerings but let's take a look and see. So we have here uh, up to seven. How many do we have in the collection here? We have 18 in the collection. So what the golf, well, let's just do it this way here. What the golf is a, oh, I have this game. Um, it's a physics based, um, what do they call those ragdoll type ragdoll physics type of golf game? Um, yeah, it might be fun. Again, this is probably a, a game you'd have more fun with with a group of people than uh, playing on your own. Zengion. What the heck is Zengion? I've never even heard of this game. Action RPG roguelike. Okay, so it's a Chinese game. I do speak Chinese, so I do know that that's Chinese and not Japanese or Korean or anything like that. Okay, story, story, story. How about some gameplay? <clears throat> okay. Wow. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Very, very typical. Um... MMO type of uh, isometric gameplay style here, but uh, yeah, interesting, interesting. Probably not my cup of tea. Let's move on. Kingdom Rush Origins is, uh, isn't it a phone game? It's, it's, it's Tower Defense. And Tower Defense is great, but Tower defense should be in the dollar pile. Um, I don't care how great of a tower defense is, unless it's like revolutionary. Kingdom Rush is Kingdom Rush. It's it's tower defense. It should be in the dollar dollar pile. Space Crew hi, Legendary John, Edition. Hi, I'm Dave. Also yeah, hi guys. Space Crew campaign. Players are Single player strategic survival the simulation game. Three members of their crew to form an away team to enter on foot to carry out specific objectives on the ground. So FTL, FTL with better graphics, faster than light. An abandoned UDF space station to retrieve some valuable intel. Sneaking aboard an enemy outpost to rescue eh, captured crew. It looks okay. I've I've seen this one. I'm I'm sure I have this one in my collection, but not my my game style for sure. What do we got here? Buddy Simulator. Um, yeah, this is this is kind of weird. I looked at this one earlier because it was so weird. Um. Basically, you create an AI buddy in this game and it plays video games with you. I don't need friends that bad. <laughs> nope. Let's move along. Hello, journal. Is it okay Lost if I Words call you Beyond now? the Page. Oh, Atmospheric yeah. Narrative Adventure. So, it's basically, it's a point and click uh, little indie game. Oh, no, it's not. It's a platformer. It's a platformer. It's going to be fine. Be. Maybe for younger people, this would be kind of cool. For me, I need to finish the story, so not really my shtick. Listen Constructor up, Plus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, world. this this oh, is a city builder. Um, it's been out for a long time. Does it give a release date on here? I've I've seen this around for a very long time. Is all that and more. It features more than 65 pre-built city scenarios. 10 no, it doesn't even worlds, doesn't even list the uh, release date on here, but it, yeah, it's more than 10 years ago. If you're into city builders, 
it might be all right but again i would put that into a dollar pile as opposed to four bucks gig apocalypse 2D pixel art destruction game. Okay, so it's kind of rampage, the old uh, rampage type of game where you're destroying cities and things. But uh, it's it's a 2D, it's a side-scrolling platformer, right? A shooter type of thing. Nifty concept, but uh, yeah that particular exciting. Asterix Noblix. I love these guys. When I was a kid, I read all the comic books. I do have a bunch of these games in my retro collection, a ton of them. Uh, these are just simply remastered versions of them with more 3D graphics. If you're into the Donkey Kong Country uh, Banjo-Kazooie type of games, you know, the 3D uh, adventure games, you would like this. Or Super Mario World, Super Mario 3D type of thing. I was never really into those, um, but the graphics look fantastic. If I were going to buy any game in this collection, it would be this, but it would have to be $1.25 uh, a game. It's not worth the uh, buy-in of $4 per game. You know, minimum $12 to pick three games. I haven't seen three games I'd pay $12 here for yet. $3. If it was $3.75, maybe. But 12 bucks for three games? Okay, okay. Roguelite, turn based. Um, interesting graphics. Kind of nice graphics, but also cartoony as well. This, if you're into survival type of uh, management roguelike games, you might dig this, but not my shtick. Override 2 Super Mech League. Oh, Super Mech League. What's that all about? Okay. Okay, now this is this is the most interesting one I've seen on here so far, being that I'm a MechWarrior uh, player, you know, MechWarrior Online, MechWarrior 5, stuff like that. Um, it's an arena brawler with big mech robots. Could be fun, but it's another one of those games where if there's still a vibrant and active online community, it could be fun. But if you're the only one playing and there's nobody in these arenas except for bots, eh, buck 25. Heat on Blood Rate. Old school graphics, very old school. Okay. Made by hand, great, let's see what you made. Okay, okay, it's a uh, first-person shooter, 16-bit kind of retro throwback. Um, what's the game I'm thinking of? Hexen. This reminds me of Hexen. Except Hexen, I think, had better graphics. $1.25 bin. $1.25 bin, for sure. So we're at 13 of 18 here, and this is Dust to End. What do we got? Another Chinese game. Interesting that there's quite a few actually Chinese games uh, in this collection. Nifty. <laughs> Look at that, even Chinese characters. This is interesting. I wonder if uh, it's all in Chinese. Or if they just... Did, well, okay, so this is in English, but the... Wow. A lot of it is in Chinese. Is that ever interesting? So for the typical North American game uh, purchaser, this is not going to be interesting. Even for myself, not really my style of game, but interesting. Ruin Raiders Tactical Roguelike. Okay, okay. Tactical roguelike, turn-based, um, very XCOM style. Yeah, no. The big con. Steal this trailer. What is the big con? Teenage con artist. Crime-filled road rage trip. 
After a chance encounter with local con artist Ted, the two embark on a crime oh, cross country yeah. road trip. Again, you got to be more looking at it for the story than for the actual exciting gameplay type of thing, right? Steals and schemes her way towards saving the family. <laughs> Probably not even for dollar twenty-five. Song of Horror. Now this one is in, or part of this is in Isaac, dear friend, one of the other bundles. You don't know what you've done with that and it is theoretically worth quite a bit of money. It's it's a survival horror game. Looks nice if this is your shtick. Very nice graphics. What is this? Looks like one of those adventure games where you, you smash the E button or the A button or whatever at the right time and to uh, yeah, that's the same one, Song of Horror. So yeah, they say that's worth forty bucks. Blood and Zombies. The graphics look nice. Kind of a Borderlandy style. Graphics look nice, but. What's actually going on? Oh, okay. Oh, so okay, okay. So it's a survival, uh, defend yourself from the onslaught of zombies type of game. Gotcha. Okay. That's kind of neat. Wouldn't buy it in a twelve dollar bundle. Buck and a quarter. Last one yoked. Not sure what's going on. Oh, so you're an egg with arms that's trying to avoid enemies and overcome obstacles to escape. Could probably be a super fun game for a kid or for somebody on acid or really, really high. <laughs> but, uh, no. So there we go. Um... Those are the 18 games for $12.55, $18.79, or $25. What do you guys think? Is there any single game in this entire collection that you would pay $4 for? Oh, yeah. See, there we go. $40 for that Song of Horror Complete Edition. Um, a lot of these games are $30 to $40, but Constructor Plus... Oh, that's so old. I've like got so many copies of that already. Like I said, if I were going to buy, if I had to buy the three pack, if I, if, if somebody had a gun to my head and said, or somebody sent me money and said, here, buy a three pack. <sighs> I would pick Asterix and Obelix, um, Blood and Zombies and Yoked. But other other than that, uh, if you're into horror games, that's probably the best value in the entire game is in the entire collection is Song of Horror. But uh, I will not be buying anything from this bundle this time. However, if you stick around for my next video, I will be showing you how you can get a bunch of absolutely free games if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber. Once again, many Amazon subscribers don't realize they have access to completely free games. And that's what we're going to look at next time.